how, how do you structure your particular business? There's, it seems to me like there, there's three main components that I've noticed since starting this that, that are challenges or, or bigger differences from, or the biggest differences from a long-term rental, um, which are the booking requests, then the cleanings, and then the, the maintenance. Um, and so uh, do you do all of this yourself? Do you have a team that does certain components of it? How do you have this systematized and set up? So great question, because I mean, that is, if you don't have a system, you don't really have a plan. And I think, uh, you know, obviously, when we started our business, we started with two apartments, because we started with the two apartments down below us. And then we had a little house that we picked up right at the same time. So we had three at the same time that we were starting. And at the time, it was just my wife and I, I did have a friend who would, you know, he, he could have helped me if there was something broken that I, I couldn't fix, he would have helped. Um, so we had kind of that part of it, but we were the you know front end the back end and everything uh, we cleaned them we reset them and for us that was really important getting started because we wanted to number one i mean we we're just getting started had to figure it out but number one we needed to know what do we expect what do we expect our cleaning team once we put together a cleaning team what do we expect and so we learned a lot of that on our way we saw like how long is it taking you know to clean it my wife is real meticulous so she really had the ball with that and i I hit her hard, you know, or say hit her hard. I'll probably go to jail for that one. But yeah. <laughs> I, I pounded it in hard like, hey, we have got to have a plan. There's got to be a system, you know, for everything, for, you know, systematize everything. And she has done an awesome job. I mean, she even has like how she folds the sheets in a system now. <laughs> Sounds like a flight checklist. It is. I mean, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> She folds them a certain way so that when she gets to the place, she unfolds it and it's easier to make the bed. So it's saving time. Um, and she's passed that on. So the first people, uh, the first person that we hired was a cleaner. Uh, we hired, we kind of interviewed a couple. We brought them on. You should, we, what we did is we showed them a clean place. We showed them one that this is kind of what we're going for. And then we went over to one that we needed to reset. Uh, she worked with them. And I think I did a couple of times to work with them. And then after that, then they had it. And, and we, uh, we pay our cleaners well. Um, so average they're they're making over $25 an hour but we what we don't we don't pay an hourly wage we just pay for the for the actual you know the cleaning of the place yeah uh, so that way they know exactly how much they're going to get every time sometimes it's super easy sometimes it's not yeah uh, but we've never had you know knock on wood we've never had a terrible one so we've, mm -hmm. we've been in good shape so that was our first part of the team was that cleaner um i can tell you i have i have been the one who solely manages the the back side um, and here's one, here's a nugget, like anybody who's got a paper pen or they're writing stuff down. What I use to manage that is a program called IGMS. It used to be called AirGMS, I think. Uh, it's called IGMS. Um, you can actually do it for free up to, I think, three properties, it might be two, I don't remember. But when you're first starting out, you can actually do it for free. Well, what that does is it, it meshes the calendars because I, I'm, uh, I list on Airbnb and, v and Verbo, uh, Homeway, Verbo, they're kind of the same. And then you can also get on Flipkey and um, Stays and all these. I mean, there's a ton that you can get on. You just have to create the, the profile and then you link it in and then it, it meshes all those calendars together. So when one booking comes in, it blocks the calendar off. It, the tool also, that IGMS also is a way to um, message so you can message through that app as opposed to going through Airbnb or, or Verbo. Um, it's also a way that you can do direct booking. So I can go in and I can block off my calendar for a direct booking. Mm -hmm. Somebody calls me up and says, hey, I'd like to come in for this time. Well, that just saved me that, that Airbnb or Verbo fee. Um, and then I book it in. I've also got a Square account, so I can just invoice them, send them that Square account, uh, Square invoice, and then, and then uh, charge them like that. My system that I also put in place more on the front end side of it was uh, keyless entry. I did all Wi-Fi keyless entry. I use a Schlage encode, which is, it's expensive. It's $250 per lock. So it's, it's not, um, it is not cheap, but I tell you, it has been handy m more times than I can even say right now. I mean, I actually have had somebody at my door before who wanted to rent and I have a ring as well. So at each one of my places. So when, when he and I got on the phone or, you know, got right on the ring, I ended up opening the door. I felt comfortable enough. I let him, open, I let him go inside, check it out. He rented that day for a week and he's been a return guest four times. And <laughs> two of his friends my way. 
So That's amazing. You know, had I not had a way to open that door, he actually canceled a hotel reservation that day to go stay in our place. So, you know, that, you know, that, that $250 lock paid for itself that day. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah. It, it's funny. We just had a team meeting this morning. Um, cause I, I've got a couple of people that, that help me out, uh, to keep everything straight. Cause there's, it, as you grow, it, it, it becomes a lot, but we were talking about different, uh, tools. Um, uh-huh. and there's, there's some that we had brought up, uh, uh, you're welcome is one. Um, another one, uh, is, uh, Logify is another one that we're, we're looking at. And, and a lot of them do the same thing or have overlapping, um, capabilities. Mm-hmm. We use hosty app right now, um, mm-hmm. which kind of ties in calendars, but it doesn't, it doesn't have some of the other ones that you, some of the other features that you just mentioned. So mm-hmm. I'm definitely going to, going to check that, uh, IG, IGMS out, um, definitely. and, uh, see if it, uh, maybe is a better solution for us. So I appreciate that. Um, yeah. And yeah. We, Go ahead. we're talking teams. You said you had a meeting. We, we have, you know, our team has grown, you know, because as we, like I said, we started off with Potter Block. That's the place we live. I had two apartments underneath it. Then we bought a house, three bedroom, one bath. Then we bought a church, I believe was the next thing that we bought. Uh, so that'll be five bedrooms, two and a half baths. Then we bought another little house, three bedrooms, one bath. Then we bought that turnkey rental two bedrooms, two baths. And now Monday we close on a church. It's going to have 10 rooms. Each one of those rooms is going to be like an Airbnb all of its own. So it's wow. like 10 rentable rooms, uh, completely separate. Um, huh. So, you know, just like that, you go from having an idea to a pretty lucrative, you know, cash flow in business. And if that team's not in place, you're, you're really hurting. Yeah. We were kind of blessed. My daughter moved back home. And so she has actually helped out a lot with the cleaning she's going to end up being kind of the front side management of that hotel once we put that hotel up and running. So she'll be kind of on the front side and uh, I'll still do the back side. But I do see in the future at some point finding somebody to do that whole backside management where I don't have to be on the, com- you know, on the phone or on the computer messaging back with guests. I love doing it. I love that personal side of it. But to go- in order to grow, I think we need to kind of look what's next. What's the next step that's going to make the biggest impact so yeah yeah and and i i think what you said it, it's exactly how how we grew too there's a lot of similarities here um but it's it's another one of the huge um uh intrepidations people have about airbnb when i bring it up is like well i don't have a cleaning service set up i don't have a, a big team and it's like initially it's just figuring it out, you know, do one deal. And for us, it was the same way. Our base, you know, we started renting our basement. We, did, we hadn't done Airbnb before, but I saw the comps and I was like, this is kind of crazy. Like this could pay our, almost our entire mortgage. And we, we just rented in the summer. Um, and so we started renting it and my wife would clean it. Initially she decorated it. She's the same way. She's a, uh, a pretty talented decorator. And uh, it just worked really well. And then, you know, my mother-in-law helps us with the cleanings now. And then we uh, have some, uh, some others as well. And so your team grows organically around you. I think, like you said, it's good to, to be thinking about the future and, and planning for that. But you don't have to wait until you've got this big team. You don't, you know, a team doesn't want to be set up around you if you don't have anything to do. So it kind of, um, they, they grow together. So I, I think that was a, a great point. 